Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your FPS and get better performance in all new off the grid. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, search for settings on your PC and over here, go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will consume less memory and CPU usage and ultimately help you to gain extra FPS. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, disabling unwanted applications and notifications in the background, allowing you to gain extra FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and then click on the change default graphics settings button over here enable both hardware accelerated gpu scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to utilize your gpu to run the game as well as reduce your input latency go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and add your game over here if you don't know where your game is head over to epic games click on the three dots over here then go over to manage then click on this open install location folder over here and once you are in this folder head over to engine head over to g01 binaries win64 and simply copy this file location over here then click on the browse button and then paste this location right away click on the win64shipping.exe and then click on add once it is added head over to options click on high performance and then click on save click on the browse button once again go two folders back and then click on start protected game.exe click on add head over to options select high performance and then click on save once again once that is done close your settings step number two is compatibility settings for that you have to open up epic games on your pc once you're in the epic games click on the three dots over here and then click on manage over here for the launch option enable it and then type in hyphen dx11 space hyphen high once that is done click on open file location over here go over to g01 binaries win64 and then right click on your win64 shipping.exe click on properties go over to compatibility and then disable full screen optimization also click on change high dpi settings and then click on override high dpi scaling behavior click on ok and then click on apply one more important step is in the epic games folder that is setting up your command line.txt click on the three dots over here go over to manage and you'll find in launch options enable that and then type in hyphen dx11 space hyphen high this will help you to use your correct DirectX version for rendering the game. Once again, DX11 is for very low end PCs. And if you have a decent graphic card, use DX12 and use super scaling in the game that I'll be showing you guys in the in-game settings. Once that is done, close it. Next step is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And over here, look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it off the grid just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once this is done simply close it and close system properties next step is the off the grid fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you'll find in five simple folders over here let's start with the first one that is cpu priority in which you'll find amd and intel cpu priority once again if you have an amd cpu you can double click on the amd cpu priority and if you have an intel cpu you can do the same with your intel cpu go back to the main folder click on off the grid priority and over here i want you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority do you need to choose from over here once again i have also left a normal priority so if that doesn't work out well or as expected you guys can always reset it back to normal from here so you don't lose anything go back to the main folder click on ram optimization and over here i have left a ton of presets according to your ram i have 32 gb ram so i need to double click and run the 32 gb ram registry it could be different for you so i recommend you guys to use one according to your ram and once again if that doesn't work workout as expected you guys can always reset it back to default from this registry over here next is the useful programs in which i have left three simple programs first is cache cleaner simply right click on this as administrator this is start deleting all the temporary files on your pc and this is super beneficial because these are just crash files and dump files which are no longer in use they're completely safe to remove so let it run in the background minimize it next is memoryduck.exe you can simply double click to open it this will open up a setup you have to install it and here is how memoryduck actually works you guys can see that my pc is currently using 11.5 gb of ram and as soon as i click on clean memory and then click on yes this usage drops down instantly memory duct allows you to free up your used up ram and it will also help you to improve your fps and performance drastically i'll recommend you guys to use memory duct every single time you open up this game Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click and this as administrator. Over here, you'll find all of your PCIe Express 
and hardware connected to your PC. You have to look for your graphic card and then click on the MSI button in front of it. Then for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high as it will help you to set up the correct SFIU priority and GPU priority for your games. This will help you to utilize your GPU much more than you usually do. This will help you to prioritize your GPU to render the game. Once that is done, go back and open up the last folder that is unwanted services and over here I have left a ton of services that you guys can disable and this will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth services, leave the Bluetooth services, but other than that, I would highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them. And if you want to revert any of them back to normal, you can use this folder. This will help you to reduce the number of services running in the background and allowing your PC to save more resources so it can allocate it towards the game. Once that is done, simply close the FPS back. Next step is deanimating windows and it is super simple. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here click on custom. Select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will keep the minimal and basic look of windows and disable every single one other than that. Animations are generally useless and consume your CPU usage. Disabling so will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Go back to the advanced settings over here and here is how you guys can set up your virtual memory. So the next step is correctly setting up your virtual memory. Click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size. For the custom size, set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size, open up your calculator. Over here, you have to multiply your RAM that is 32 GB for me with 1024. This will give you your RAM in megabytes. Divide this value by two and the new value should be pasted in the maximum size over here. Click on set, click on OK and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Next step is disabling unwanted startup apps. And for that, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together on your PC. Head over to startup apps over here. And I would recommend you guys to start disabling all of the ones that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. This will not only help you to reduce the last BIOS time, but will also help you to improve the overall performance of your PC since less number of applications and processes will be running in the background. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is disabling background applications on Windows 11. And this step will only be available for Windows Pro users. So if you have a Windows Pro, follow this. Simply search for local group policy editor and open it up. Once you're over here, go over to administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy, and in here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and then enable the policy. For this policy, you have to default for all applications to force deny. And this will help you to stop all of the background applications running on your PC. It will help you to save a lot of resources and optimize your PC's performance as well. Next step is the best in game settings. And for that, head over to your game. Okay, so once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Over here for the window mode, set this thing to full screen and your native monitor with the native resolution. Frame rate limit, set this thing to your native monitor limit. For me, that is going to be 240, but that is not available, so I'll set it to 144. Resolution scaling method, I would prefer you guys to go with FSR 3.0 and FSR should be set to balanced or quality. Or you guys can also go with DLSS with quality or balanced as both of them will help you to improve the performance drastically. Quality presets should be set to custom where anti-aliasing and render distance should be set to low. Texture quality should be set to high. Shadow quality low. Effects quality low. Post processing and global illumination low. Reflection and foliage quality in, along with shading quality and colorblind mode should be set to low and normal. Brightness should be your preference. V-Sync should be turned off. Hideout and game mesh quality should be set to medium. Motion blur should be set to off and HDR output should also be set to off once that is done click on apply changes and you guys are now using the best settings for best fps in off the grid i hope this guy helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me grow the channel we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching tweakers and peace out